Tu casita de gai s-a prepaia si nu ai curata de gras. Pare că o să-i ia la curata de gras cu calul. Și de din urmă tu ne gras cu de gras cu sân. Și o grantă de gras în ordine de gras cu o dată cu el. Și e ca în gara, ai de putut de gras și că e mai cu un gai. Când mă sunt absent, eu vrei la oameni să prepaiesc. Să vii mai lăsă și la primă. O tără frumoară de la de ea, să fii fi părăminte cu sănii să ai primit de preasă o viză, tu consider că îți faci în antiorului.
after the hero of the scroll. All night long he was dragged from place to place, marked and beaten without mercy. He had lost blood and his body grew ever weaker. The sweat and blood dripping from the crown of thorns marred his vision. He fell and the cast dragged down on top of him. But his love for us overcame his physical weakness and he rose from the dusty ground to proceed toward the faith which awaited him. Lord Jesus, you fell because your body could no longer bear the weight of the cross. I have fallen into your sinful service frequently because I really have to fall upon your strength. I confess my faults and I am truly sorry for my sins. I resolve to do all in my power to avoid my enemy of church. Although no one experiences the hand to help you out, I hope you will extend your hand to raise me. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Let me see you in each of them, 
that we have our life in your virgins, and assist us in your journey to life through life. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Jesus suddenly 
they wept and mourned for them. He had drawn the silence which no judge nor porter could break. He looked at the women and said, Brothers of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. We rather for yourselves and for your children. Savior, you do not wish us to shed tears for your humiliation and suffering, for you voluntarily accepted for us. Rather, you have us to weep over the faults and failures of our lives. May I, through sorrow and penance, cleanse my soul and gain your mercy. Have mercy on us, Allah. Have mercy on us.
the inquirers, the original and Joseph Sire, the honor will be to understand. Pray for us, dear mother, the honor and the honor of our death. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us.
Jesus carried to the Golgotha to be executed upon for our salvation. This is the full manifestation of his pure and unconditional love for us, for you and me, for all of us. That is truly a beautiful, remarkable and powerful message of the Gospels. When we pray and reflect during the stations of the cross, Sometimes new messages surface during that time of solitude. In each station, there is a unique and compelling message. It is so unbel unbelievably translatable to our own journeys on earth, our own way of the cross. In the eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross, that particular point of the reflection evinces some powerful imagery and emotions. The nails being driven through the hands and feet of our saving Lord demonstrate that Jesus wanted to suffer every conceivable pain and suffering imaginable. Therefore, when we feel that pain from an illness or a disease or a serious injury, Jesus understands and he is there for us because he suffered through the same pain and is there to comfort us. The nails also represent the figurative nails that we all feel in the human condition. The nails of family tragedy, a long-term illness, or deep emotional pain that has been dealt to us. 
Those neurons could leave us feeling bound or trapped in the situation with little hope. Those nails could represent being trapped in a job that we dislike. Could be an addiction, it could be a mental illness, or it could be a family member with a long-term illness who needs care. These nails will test our limits, our endurance, and our faith. They could represent years of futility, joblessness, or a life which is so much different than we anticipated. We reflect and pray that we may be granted in those times a measure of the patience that Jesus displayed on the cross to transform that pain or those feelings so I can better endure it. Brothers and sisters, we should rejoice and exult that the grace of Christ has delivered us all from sin, hardship, pain and suffering through the power of eternal life. In those instances where you feel pain from an illness, take it to the cross. If you feel lonely, confused, scared or emotionally scared, Take it to the cross. Jesus knows all of these feelings, all of these pains, and all of these sorrows, because He lived through them and He will forgive you and make you whole again. The only requirement is if you believe and trust in Him. In fact, the Woods of Christ was another point of reflection for us in thinking of the Passion and the Crucifixion of the Lord. When we pray and reflect on the stations of the cross, it brings us to think about the Wounds of Christ, which brings us to a place where we think about the Wounds of others. And in the end, we think less about our own Wounds. The type of reflection is transformative and healing on a number of levels. We live in turbulent and uncertain times. We live in a time where we are bombarded with information and where most of us feel like we move from one disaster to another. In those times, the patience Jesus displayed on the cross can be a very powerful example and source of solace for us amid the difficulties of our lives. The cross of Christ took a symbol of torture and hate and transformed it into a symbol of hope, freedom and unconditional love. Jesus, the perfect spotless Lamb of God nailed to the cross so that we could be redeemed, so that we could be free of sin and death. That is the best victory any of us could ever imagine. Lord, we
There was just one section that was brown. It was so pretty. Just, just one round section. It was beautiful. Yeah. But it was a rainbow. It was beautiful. It was a bright, bright pink. Bob Ross photo. Yeah.